Hello, my awesome Aquarius. I missed you guys. Aquarius, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aquarius. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for aquarius in their life and how is aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aquarius in their life and how is aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey i feel i need to shuffle more universe please show us what's coming up for aquarius in their life and how is aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey Let's see, Aquarius. Somebody wants to apologize to you. Somebody that you let go of. So for most of you, will be uh, your soulmate. For some of you, will be a family member. Somebody wants to make amends with you, come back to you, apologize to you. Somebody that disappointed you emotionally deeply. Yeah. Oh, you love this person, though. You do love them, but you don't want to play any mind games. You don't have time for shenanigans. You are serious. You show up as queen energy, whether you're male or female, which indicates to me you are very mature, reliable, consistent, and you want to see the same from people in your life. You want people to take responsibility, accountability for themselves. You don't want to babysit grown-ups. You are very psychic. You are very intuitive. Yes, you are. You have wisdom. Mm -hmm. People can't fool you. Your intuition is on point. Yeah, it is. You read people very well. You eat. You read energy. You read body language, eye contact, mannerism very well. People can't fool you with something that is not true. Your energy is beautiful. The sun card, the best card in the whole deck whatever it is that you're going through it shows that you're gonna persevere this shows health vitality so if you've been feeling low on energy or sad or feeling down emotionally or depressed this is you picking yourself up again getting your strength back your health back your energy back good for you universe please show us what's coming up for aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey. Beautiful. The sun card showing up twice. Whoever it is that you let go of realizes your worth value, how much you mean to them. Realizes that they've been wrong and they need to make amends with you. Correct things. Improve things. Yeah. So... You see very clearly who is authentic in your life, who is not. Yeah, so there are some shady people in your life, whether it's at work, circle of friends, neighborhood, wherever. You see snakes here. You see very clearly who is authentic in your life and who is fake in your life. You don't want to be around toxic people who bring drama in. Yeah, negativity of any kind. You're very sensitive to energy. Yes, this is you protecting yourself from negative people toxic people your energy is fabulous look at this this is you recognizing your worth value knowing that you deserve to be surrounded by people of high vibration like yourself yeah you see this is you saying yes to, to self-respect self-love and no to toxicity this is you being very selective who you call your friends who you spend time with you have been feeling down. You have been feeling kind of low on energy, drained by other people. This is you being more selective, more aware of who belongs in your life, who does not. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are dealing with a significant Leo in your life. Leo, Leo. 
Also, Pisces popping up here. Scorpio. Pisces again and Pisces again. Yeah, you see? I never like the moon card except when it's surrounded or near the sun card, which it is. This is very rare to see, but here it is. So uh, you see very clearly that the person that you let go of was in the wrong. You see this? And you needed to teach them a lesson. You needed to let them go in order for them to finally wake up. Yeah. Yeah, you really are walking away from toxic people, whether it's toxic relatives, fake friends, co-workers, neighbors. You recognize very clearly that some people drain you continuously and they don't belong in your life. You know who they are. You already know who they are. Yeah, you see, you had to tell somebody off. Yeah, you told somebody off that betrayed your trust in a major way. Yeah, this is you standing up for yourself, not letting people walk all over you. This is you respecting yourself seeing recognizing your worth as a person not allowing people to ride you like a train you show up as single not in a relationship right now people view you as very attractive available someone who's very independent you don't need another person to complete you you see this this is you recognizing your worth value knowing that you don't need another person to complete you yeah you don't need a relationship you're not desperate to be in a relationship yeah good for you Aquarius let's see what's going on here this is good very good the best card in the whole deck universe please show us what's coming up for Aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey especially you look how psychic you are how intuitive you are again so people can't fool you no, you see right through people. You know when somebody is authentic and when somebody's fake. You read them very well. Yeah. You don't trust many people. Yeah. You see this? This is you being very careful who you call your friends. This is you protecting yourself. Wanting alone time away from people. Wanting to recharge your batteries, to spend time in nature. Uh-oh. So the person that you let go of wants to talk to you, but they have very hard time expressing emotions, communicating openly. Yeah, they, they don't communicate well with you. They don't listen. They don't express emotions. They miss you, however. So they don't show emotions. They don't show emotional vulnerability. They don't like to show it, but they feel it deeply. They feel very connected with you. They're missing you. They're reminiscing of you. Let's see what's going on with the soulmate of yours that now popped up as king of swords. Let's see, universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius let go of for now. And how is that soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius? Extra card, very important. Yeah, you see, they feel at a crossroads that they're going to have to take action. You see, the moon and the sun again. So this person sees very clearly the mistakes that were made. The question is, what will they do about them to correct them? That's the question. The good thing is they see clearly what needs to happen. They want you back so badly. This is their wish. This person wants you back in their life, but they're trying to figure out. Is it possible for you to be back in the life again? Will you come back? They won't know, really. See, they view you as the catch, as very different from others. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Mm -hmm. Leo again and Virgo. No matter what sign they are, they show up as very stubborn, set in their ways, very rigid. They don't like changes. Changes scare them. They view you as the wise one in this relationship, as the grounded one, the reliable one, the mature one. You see this? They view you as the catalyst in their life, as someone of great importance, teaching them valuable lessons. They love you a lot, but they don't show it. You see this? This person loves you deeply, genuinely, but they don't show it. They hide it. They don't express it. Universe, please show us. That is frustrating to you. Yeah. Universe, please show us 
what's going on currently with the soulmate of aquarius and how's the soulmate of aquarius towards aquarius at this time this was a serious relationship this just flipped over on its own yeah you see this person uh has some people in your life that don't want to see them back in your life what's going on with that this person uh, thinks of you seriously universe please show us What's going on currently with this soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time? You see, you had to let them go over something uh, that was important uh, to address. You see this? Something was toxic in this relationship. Something became toxic, greatly unbalanced for the devil to show up. This person realizes that you had valid reasons to walk away from them, to release them, to let them go. Something going on in their life that they need to handle, they need to resolve, they need to work on. Something serious because toxicity is showing up here. You see this? I don't like the devil card ever except when it's reversed, but it didn't show up reversed. So yeah, this person feels obsessed with you. They unable to let you go. But this shows some kind of addictive behaviors that are controlling their life that they need to uh, admit to themselves and work on. You see, this is addictive behaviors. Hmm. This is them trying to make wise decisions. They don't want to make mistakes. They want to learn from the mistakes that were made. You see, they're concerned. Because they view you as attractive, available, single. They're concerned that if they wait too long, somebody else is going to offer you a relationship. Because they view you as someone who is a catch. Someone of value. You see, they betrayed your trust. Yeah, they did. They betrayed your trust. This is betrayal and the devil showing up here. So this person did something shady. Whether they were hoping that you wouldn't find out or they were hoping it wouldn't matter to you. It did, and you found out about it. You see this? This is not good. No. You had valid reasons to walk away from them. Yeah, very valid. And they realize that. Yeah, they do. Which means they could change it. They could correct it if they wanted to. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius? They do love you, but you see the cups are empty. They don't express love. They don't show it. They don't verbalize it, really. You see, they needed to lose you to realize your worth value, how much you mean to them. They view you as the catch, as someone of uh, high value in a relationship. Empress, you're not chasing them. No, you're not. You're not desperate for their attention. No. They know you don't need them. You see, they want to so badly communicate with you to clear the air with you. But they don't communicate openly because the sword is pointing down. They're hoping, as a matter of fact, that you're going to cool off, reach out to them first. Aha! Uh -huh. So, this clearly shows that this person is aware they betrayed your trust in a major way. And as a result, they lost you. And they feel enormous amount of guilt, shame, regret. This is them uh, recognizing that their conscience is bothering them. You see this? They're scared that they overstepped healthy boundaries and went too far and you're done with them. They're very concerned that this is the end, that you're not going to allow them to come back. Universe, please show us. They love you a lot. Yes, they do. They do love you. Mm -hmm. But what concerns me is that this is in the subconscious position. It's like they don't show it. They don't express it. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aquarius. Yeah, they're waiting to take proper action. They're checking up on you. They want to know what's going on in your life, what you up to. They're keeping tabs on you. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo again, also Virgo. they in love. This person is in love with you. But this shows me that new soulmate is entering your life. Yeah, this is you. Someone, someone that you know on a soul level from past lifetimes that you are meant to meet again. If you haven't met them already, 
This is you about to meet them. You have free will, Aquarius, to determine who you want or don't want to be with. We determine through our free will who we want to be with, who we want to marry, who we want to live with, what we want to do for a living, stuff like that. You see, new soulmate popping up here for you. I love the new soulmate's energy because they're showing up as mature, grown up, king of wands, king of action, someone who's very independent, attractive, someone is a go-getter, someone who is... Um, charismatic, mature, because it's a king energy to match your queen energy, whether you are male or a female. We're going to ask about both of them in the extended reading since they both showed up. First, we're going to ask about the soulmate that wants to come back to you for communication clarity. And then towards the end, we're going to ask about the new soulmate that just popped up as king of wands. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.